But first up, it is one of the biggest box office weekends of the year. And this weekend, police are trying to figure out who is setting off bottle bombs inside packed movie theaters. It's happened twice at Tyson's Corner Center. The latest happened early this morning and just yesterday, the Magic Johnson Theater in Largo had to be cleared as well. Tom Rousey is live in Tyson's with what moviegoers are saying and what we're hearing as well from AMC about this. Tom. Well, Ken, it's the Memorial Day weekend, traditionally one of the biggest weekends of the year for moviegoers, but a number of those we talked to here at Tyson's Corner, they're scared to go to the movies after what's been happening. I feel like it's ridiculous to ruin people Saturday nights for no reason. It, it just kind of makes you question whether or not it's really safe around here. The Fairfax County Fire Marshal's Office says right at the climactic final scene of X-Men, around 2 this morning, the bottle bomb went off. Someone tosses this uh, device down into the front of the uh, movie theater. Mike Riley with the Fairfax County Fire Marshal's Office says despite the late hour, the theater was jam-packed with 300 people who were evacuated. This is X-Men's big opening weekend. When the same thing happened at almost the same time last weekend at Tyson's, it was during the final scene of Godzilla during its big opening weekend. This is YouTube video of last week's evacuation. In both cases, no one was hurt, but that is very fortunate because the bottle bombs contained a very strong acid. If you get it on your skin, it will create a chemical burn. If you get it in your eyes, you could lose your eyesight. Besides the two times in two weekends at AMC Tyson's, another very similar incident happened early yesterday morning during an X-Men showing at the AMC Magic Johnson Theater in Largo. Theater goers at both places are worried, especially at twice hit Tyson. You asked me a question earlier whether or not I go to the theater here. I used to. I don't think I'll be coming here anytime soon. It's hard to rationalize irrational behavior, so I can't make sense out of stuff that doesn't make sense. The Fairfax County Fire Marshal's Office says two juveniles here at Tyson's felt like they may have been exposed to that acid, but they were checked out and they were okay. AMC Theater says it plans to offer up to a $25,000 reward in these cases. The Fire Marshal's Office says it can't be sure the two at Tyson's are the same people, and it also can't be sure if either one of them is connected to what happened in Largo. At Tyson's Corner, reporting live, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. All right.